Good morning, everybody. Park Rep Pat here. I'm back out at this four acre lot where I was the other day with Colleen. This is still a fairly new place for me. Up in that area behind me, that's where I found that cool propeller. Turns out it's from a kid's pedal car airplane. Awesome stuff. There's no telling what's out here. It's about 60 degrees this morning, but this is Florida, so it'll be 70 or 80 within the next hour or so. Let me get out there, see what kind of goodies I can find. I'll catch you at the first hole. Let's get digging. We got our first target on the day. It's this little nut cap. And he drops it again. <laughs> Either way. Cool little piece. Got to be copper. Very nice. We throw that in the pouch. Keep on a swinging. Okay, I got that cap nut right there. Just here I got a perfect 40 signal. Look at this odd piece. I have never seen one of these before. Could not tell you what it is. If anybody's got a clue on that, definitely say so down in the comments. Very interesting. Good stuff. All right, I'm moving forward. All right, love finding these. End of a garden hose with part of the hose still attached. Cool stuff. Okay, I'm walking this one back to the truck. Big piece, looks to be some type of coupling, then a lock mechanism would have gone over this front end here, um, maybe for a high pressure hose or something, I don't know, but it's still very cool. All right, in the truck it goes, on with this beautiful hunt. Yippee! <laughs> Take a look at this! Okay. I got this signal right here, it sounded like a dime, real good. And I got the plug out, it wasn't in the hole, I started checking the plug. Chase down this beauty right here, look at that. A heart with a cross on it. And this thing's in great shape. I, I wouldn't be surprised if this was silver. Oh man, that is, you get it in the light here. Come on light, that is gorgeous. Okay, I believe that's a cross on there. Alrighty, I'm going to clean this up. I will get right back at you. Alright everybody, here we go. It's a locket. A heart-shaped locket. And judging by the condition of it, I would definitely say that's silver. Down here, it says 120th 12k gold fill LAM something I can't make out after that. Now I haven't found a 925 on here, but I have not cleaned it up enough to really see everything. But yeah, I would say from what I'm looking at, the condition of it and the feel well, let me zoom out here and the feel of the metal itself this is silver it's gonna shine up nice I should be able to get more wording off of it but uh awesome find let me get back out in the field and see what other goodies there are all right just a few inches away from where I found the locket and maybe two inches down part of a bus bar nice like there was an electrical panel in this area or something. Good stuff. Let me keep swinging. Great little signal right here. I don't find too many of these. Looks like a shotgun head stamp from a 410. Nice. All right. All right. Just down there. Got us a few fire ants and an old valve. Very cool. All right. 
All right, we got about four inches down on this one, not far from where that spigot was. 1971 Memorial, beautiful condition. Hopefully he's got a few friends out here. All right, I'm gonna catch a little drink here, take a break, and keep on swinging. So far, everything I've found has been from this point right here to here. So we're looking at 60 feet at best, all in a tight little area. I think I'm on a good hot spot. I'm gonna keep going, maybe cut some of this high stuff down. Okay, I'm working up into the higher brush here. Got a nice signal down there, solid 76. And it looks like it's a 1995 dime. I'll take that all day long. Whew, good day. All right, that spot right there, still in the high brush. Got a nice signal. 1976 penny bicentennial whoo <laughs> all right got a great target down there i've been working over in that area there and just kind of worked my way across down there it's a 54 signal and it was pretty deep at the time it was about five or six inches i pulled out a key it's got some writing on it let me see if i can get this in the light right now i cannot with my eyes see what that says it might say safe eh, or sale something scale kale I don't know I'm gonna clean this up at home and I will get a better look at it but very nice for a tiny little key got a little uh, warped in the extraction but that's okay at least it's complete all right, and where's my focus? There we go. All right. Good stuff. In the pouch, on to the next target. Okay. This one's a first for me. Never had it on my bucket list. Wish I had, because I've got one now. Down there, very deep. Coming up like a quarter. I find this piece of glass as I'm digging things out. But of course, that ain't it. So I keep going. And I pull this thing. Any clues? It's a telescope. This was somebody's telescope. Back in the day, don't know if it was meant to be a real one or a kid's one or what, but uh, yeah, that's a telescope. Very freaking cool. Hopefully I can find the rest of it. I'm gonna keep swinging. Wish me luck. Well, things got pretty quiet again. I'm going along through this kind of back area here, and uh, I got a signal there. Turns out to be a 1998 penny. Still in fairly good shape. We'll throw that one in the pouch. Alrighty, I'm starting to run out of steam here, but I got a nice signal there. This looks to be part of an old fuse. Very cool. We'll throw that one in the pouch and keep swinging on. I'm getting closer to the truck. Let me see if I can get through this high stuff and find out what's hiding in there. All right, good signal there. Falling into the right range for sure. 1964 Memorial Penny in great condition. I'm really loving this location. <laughs> this place is awesome. All right, on with the hunt. Okay, Detector Rats, it is wrap-up time. Good day out there. Some interesting bits of junk and stuff. I didn't put it all out here because, well, y'all have seen junk and stuff before. And some of the cooler things are this little 410 shotgun head stamp. This odd piece, I would really love to know more about what this is or what it was for. So if anybody's got a clue on that, say so in the comments. I got a key. It says Yale. That's pretty cool. Maybe someday I'll find a Harvard key. I got a dime and four pennies. Uh, three of the pennies were copper. That's excellent. And I got this locket, which is shining up really nice. It's got a super pretty design on the front here. See if I can zoom in on that. Very nice. And on the back, uh, hard for you to see probably, it's a 120th 12 karat gold fill Lamad. L-O-M-O-D, but that's a gold filled. So this is my first gold of the decade. Awesome stuff. 
happy to get it rolling like that. All right. I hope you all enjoyed the adventure. Please like, share, subscribe. God bless. And never forget, you are only one hole away from a really good day. Thank you.